and here I am at Puget Sound after two months, three weeks, 4,000 miles, 14 states, reflecting on my trip, wondering what I'm gonna do next. Yesterday was my last day of season, guiding five months of Poland after tarpon permit and bonefish and everything in between, and it was great. It was a really good season with the lack of pressure. It's a silver lining with all the trouble with COVID. Now my focus is on my bike trip across America and I'm starting in Florence, South Carolina. I got my bike tweaked, 10 pounds in each bag. I'm gonna show you guys, it's out here. And it's riding really good. It's a 18 year old bike of mine, Conondale T2000 that I bought in 2002 and I've uh, renovated it with brand new components this winter. And it's riding really, really good. I'm really happy with it. I can't wait to dirty it up and put some road grime on it. Just left uh, Florence about an hour ago. I've got 10 miles out from it. It was no shoulders at all. I hope South Carolina has more shoulders than, than I've seen so far. A lot of traffic on this road heading towards Asheville. Having a ball. It is so fun to be out here. It was actually really cool in the morning. And uh, I'm excited to get going. I'm gonna try to do as many miles as I can and find a camping spot later. And uh, see how it goes. A lot of unknowns for me right now, but I'm having a blast. This is the most unfriendly bicycle shoulder used. <laughs> So I did 25 miles and I'm uh, feeling pretty good. The road is terrible. There's like this tiny little shoulder. I already showed it to you probably, but I'm gonna throw some pecans on my, um... I'm gonna wait. Nah, I'm gonna throw them right now. Anyways, I'm riding in like this much space. Otherwise I hit the, stupid bumps and I'm like -ra -pa 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 the whole time and I feel like my bike's getting destroyed but it's taking it well I guess and um, I'm having fun though it's nice because it's like this tiny little narrow path I realized that I can't look straight down I gotta look ahead at ahead of me like maybe 25 feet maybe 30 feet and then I I, I, I tend to stay straighter on that 24 inch to 12 inch like space I get but there's some times that the road's coming on me so fast that, like so, so tight that I have to get off and be on the main highway. And there's, you can see the traffic in the background. It's pretty trafficy, but not too bad. And people have been real nice. This guy, Brian, just offered to buy me a pair of shoes when he asked me like about where I was going. And I said, man, I can't, he wanted to send them to my house. <laughs> he, I asked him for some water because he wanted to get me some. Thanks, man. Oh yeah, but it's time, man. And they asked me like where I'm heading and I said, Oregon. And they, they started laughing. 
it was genuinely like just trying to like it was just like pretty surprised by the whole thing I guess I'm like I love some water I was like hesitating going to a gas station and leaving my bike out there it looked sketchy so I was like dude if you give me a gallon of water that'd be so great and he went ahead and went over there got me a gallon of water and like all this other stuff I all I could take was the gallon of water it was pretty cool and then I ride like five miles I sit see this like peach orchard place McClaude Farms Market there's a basket with like seven peaches outside for sale for like I don't know how much and I go can I just buy one and the girl just hands me a peach this is working out pretty good That's my biggest hill yet. It was all fun and games until the last 10 miles. There's like all these ups and downs and it's hot, like super hot. Like super hot and I started cramping. I've, I've been responding to electrolytes on the hydration, but that was like almost not <laughs> Oh man, it was tough. It was tough. But uh, I'm over 50 miles on my first day. I'm happy with that. And the next town is 30 miles away. I know I'm not gonna make it, so I'm gonna have to stealth camp between here and the next, and Lancaster. Well, I don't know, but I think I got myself into trouble. I see this hill coming up after I have already done 50 miles. At Looks more impressive than I think I can handle on my first day. I guess I did it. This bike is pretty cool, man. Just go slow and crank. I think I got 58 point something miles. There's a house next to me, but the road's about 100 yards that way. I got a pretty cool like little spot right here. I'm just gonna set up camp right here. There's nobody around, it's pretty cool. A ton of pine trees. I don't feel any bugs yet. That's the house over there. I gotta be really quiet. I don't think anybody can see me here. My first day out here in the in this tent. I rode 58 miles. Some were really tough, but uh, it was cool because I climbed some hills and my legs feel good. But it was so hot. I mean, I gotta figure out how to get off the road by between two and four or so, or something like that. But anyways, I, uh, I'm speaking low because there's a house next to me right here. I just like was looking for pines on the side of the road that I could like get in here with a just a dirt road. I think I'm pretty good though. It's um it's nice and it's cooling off and I got an insane view of the sunset. Pretty amazing night. I slept so good. There's there's all these birds now going off. It rained for a little bit, but not long at all. But it was I think that cooled it off too. It's time to pack up camp and hit the road.
leaving my first campsite. It was pretty cool. I slept really good. And it was beautiful. It's so pretty in here. Can't wait for the next one. So I came from this way last night. And I'm heading that way. No trespassing signs. There are none. And there was no fencing or anything. I was like kind of very careful about that. So. Post office in uh, Lancaster, South Carolina. I don't think it's like to terribly heavy, but uh, I want to go faster, so I'm gonna go through all my gear. And I, I got a pretty good, a better sense now after yesterday of what I probably won't need and what I could keep reusing, like some of my clothes, but also other stuff that I, I mean, it makes no sense now that I've pushed the bike around or pedal the bike. It doesn't make sense to carry it. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna go through it. I'm gonna fill that box. It doesn't seem like a lot, but I think I got about, could be 10 pounds, but it's probably not likely. But it, it was a lot of bulks, so that even the bulk is nice not to have. And I think I'll notice the difference. <laughs> well, I was wrong. I was, uh, well, before we go, this lady right here just gave me this and she has like this knitted little thing on there and a little bit earlier another lady gave me this and it says where will you spend eternity and it has a lot of other messages with it that i'll read later <laughs> thank you thank you anyways i uh i can't believe it it was 15 pounds six ounces i'm gonna fly I'm getting a totally different perspective on the people of South Carolina. I mean, I was just on the side of the road with my bike falling over. A guy stopped, gave me two waters and a Gatorade. And now, like, I get to this gas station and this guy hands me a dollar, a dollar bill. Where is that thing? Here it is. No. Man. Oh, here it is. I dropped it. Gives me a dollar bill and some change. Like, he gave me $2.50. I was like, no way. <laughs> you can't give me money. And he's insisting. He gave me $2.50. Go get a drink, he said. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm leaving South Carolina soon and I'm really sad about it. I hope everybody says nice. Crazy. It's uh, almost six, and I got caught in a city, Rock Hill. It's pretty big. And it's uh, not getting dark, but I gotta get on it, find some place to pitch a tent. The road is right there, like 30 yards. And I just found this uh, EMS airport. 
I think if I go in there somewhere, I could find a spot. <laughs> Questionable, but it's getting late and I'm tired. There's a road right here next to me, but there were no, no trespassing signs and it looks gorgeous in here. I couldn't find any uh, campsites. So I found a motel four miles away from here, which is not even in my path, but. After a not so interesting night in a motel in York, South Carolina, I take off towards Spartanburg, determined to find me a camping spot. It's about now that I start realizing how difficult it is to find a place to pitch a tent. I'm starting to get goosebumps as to how beautiful this trip's gonna be. I'm having a blast. And I'm mostly just climbing and dropping. I hit 35 miles an hour just now. But the views are unbelievable. Like, ridiculous. So beautiful. And this is nothing. When you're up high on the, on the peaks of these hills, you can see in the distance that all these mountains are coming. Just taking a little break, about 20 miles out. And I was going 35 downhill and about four miles an hour uphill, but I'm really getting the drift of climbing. It's, it's about taking it easy and using all your muscles like interchangeably, like changing up your calves and your butt and your thighs and your quads and just the whole thing. Just a, it's, it's a lot of fun trying to figure it out because I, you know, I don't have a great amount of experience climbing, but I really like it. It's like, I should have been riding a bike my whole life. And, Maybe I will. So I'm supposed to take up this, go up this road right here. And I should not do it. But it connects with another road that I that looks good behind, you know, past it. So I'll show you guys. I'm gonna try it, but if I can't do it, I'll just come back. Uh, I think I got it. I need bigger tires for this kind of mud. This is one of my first of dozens of encounters with dogs throughout this summer. They're so cool. And once I got used to their way, I look forward to having them come out and chase me. They're simply protecting their space and the people they love. came out of nowhere. I knew he wasn't gonna bite me, but still scary. <laughs> and then I had to go back for the camera. I turn around, I go back, he didn't see me, and then I come back around, it's like he only attacks on a one-way direction. Oh my God, anyways, this is where that paid off. Is this cool or what? It's cooking out there. It's cooking. I'm like 
starving. I stop over here on a on a grocery store, a Mexican grocery store with a restaurant in the back. Buenas, ¿cómo estamos? Muy bien, gracias. Está muy bueno, está muy bueno. Caliente. Oh, ahorita, en este momento muy caliente, sí. Anyways, this lady, uh, I get fed like the best Mexican food I've ever had. If you live in Spartanburg, you gotta come try it. That's the name right there behind me. And then I'm like leaving and she hands me homemade taco tortillas and roasted chicken that she makes herself. I've been hanging out here uh, behind this shopping center. There's, it's, it's got all four sale signs out front and there's this picket with water so I took a shower or a, a wash. It was nice and cool me off. I think I got a, a camping spot up ahead, about 10 miles. And I kind of was waiting for the sun to go down so it'd be cooler. Looks like I'm heading to a rainstorm. It's beautiful, but I'm gonna have to find a place to wait it out. I don't wanna be on the road with all that rain. I'm gonna wait out the storm, but more importantly, there's a really good camping site right here. So, I think that's what's gonna happen. I think I can find a camping spot in here somewhere. <laughs> Looks insane. Day four, I'm leaving my campsite. It was a little spooky because of all the hay, but, but I slept good, really good. It's so quiet and there's so much noise, like nice noise. But um, I'm ready to go to North Carolina. I think I should cross the border today. It's a beautiful, cool morning. My front end keeps wobbling on the way down. I don't think the wheel's true, so I'm gonna flip the bike over and see if I can adjust that. Oh, I couldn't find anything wrong with it. I think I'm uh, getting the groove of this. Before the last three days, I feel like I'm trying to get miles in and kind of get somewhere. I'm fighting, I was fighting that feeling, but I was having it in the back of my mind. But 
now I'm like just just chilling, just going as slow as I need to or not pushing my legs, just kind of just cruising and checking out the sights. I got all day, I, I kind of got a sense of how long my day is and it feels good. It's just, I'm about to put my headphones on for the first time and listen to some music and I think that's gonna make it even better. You guys see that dog? Beautiful. What a monster. He was just saying hello. 